Ah! Oh, give me that sandwich, please. I want it in my belly. Grandpa Biscuit. Grandpa, what's going on? I need help with some GCF problems. Uh, come to my house. Yeah, I can be there in a little bit. You better come now. Whoa. Okay. Calm down, Grandpa. Foot in the toilet as well. Oh, bye. Bye, doggy. Eat your nutritional dog food. Be strong like John Cena. Bye, doggy. Oh, it's so nutritious. Why don't you eat it? I'm still angry, but I will eat all my food, and I expect more later. Thank you. Now I have to burp. Uh. GCF here with 75 and 25. I see that's what you're struggling with, Gramps. Yeah, I can help you. That's not a big deal at all. You have these two numbers. Um, you have to break these numbers down to their primes. Do you know what a prime is? Of course I know what that is. I went to Gallon 46. Well, yeah, it's the Optimus Prime, you know, the Autobot, Shia LaBeouf. Um, kind no. Uh, prime is not a Transformer. But what a prime is, a prime number is a whole number that is greater than one that is only divisible by itself and one. Does that make sense? Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. I get prime, but what are the other numbers then? Ooh. That's a good question, Grant. I'm glad you asked that. At least your head's not in the toilet. <laughs> Um, but yes, uh, a composite number is a whole number that is greater than one that can be divided evenly by something other than one in itself. For instance, like four and six, they can be divided by other things than one in itself. So that'd be composite. So that would answer your question. Um, so now let's get started here. I want to show you how to break down 75 and 25 to their prime numbers and how to do the GCF. Show you my technique. First thing I do, Gramps, is I put a line down the middle. All right, that's two separate problems, and I'll come to it at the end. So when I break this down, I'm going to break down 25 and, or 75 to 25 and 3. You could also choose 15 and 5. It's up to you, really. doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer no matter what way you go, as long as it's a multiple of 75. So then we got to continue. You circle your prime. So look, I just circled 3. That's a prime number, 3 and 1. That's the only thing that can go into 3. I break down 25, and I get 5. And five. Now here's a cool thing about this one. We already have 25 over here. So we just did a 25, so I know five and five work. That looks like a tree to me. All right, so now look, I broke this down to the prime numbers. Now all you have to do, I would say eye for an eye. If you take away something on this side, you gotta take away something on that side equally. So we take away one five, we can take away one five, only one. We can take away one five, we can take away one five. Only one. Well, we have a three. What do we do with that? Well, is there a three on this side? No. So we are done there. And then you go, well, how do you find the GCF? I'm sure you're asking that, Gramps. What you do is you pick one side. So you can pick this side or this side. And then you multiply the cross out numbers. So if we multiply the cross out numbers, five times five is 25. And this is what I did. Oh, I know, I know, you can't see this. What is it? There you go. Um, and that's how you find GCF. Do you got it? Well, uh, what if I did that both prime? Now don't confuse me. Oh, I got you. I'm a math G. All right. Check this out, Gramps. So we have a problem like this. 17 and 7, two prime numbers. I want to answer your question. Well, if we break that down, the only thing that can go into 17 is 17 and 1. Circle your primes. And 7... 
and one. Circle your primes. Look here, Gramps. One, one. Pick a side. One goes into anything. So technically, you always have something. It's not gonna be zero. You, you will at least have one. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does make sense. Ooh. Yeah, you good. Did oh, Gramps, I, I gotta go. My wife made macaroni. Me's legs macaroni. Oh, hey, couldn't see you there. Too busy blogging on the haters. Why don't you like and subscribe here at Barney B, the Math G, and maybe one day you'll be a Math G.